Hi, today I'm very excited to introduce our latest server product, the Super G3 of Server 3.2. It is a full 3D system that helps to build and share all your GIS data in a 3D space. And in a 3D view, it is easier for you and your audiences to understand the geographic patterns and trends of the GIS data. For example, you can show the land use data and display them in 3D to represent a virtual city. Or you can show some large scale data like Typhoon. You can use the product to build a small city platform and share all the GIS information to our web users and allow them to see the geographic patterns and trends as the way we geographers do. In this video, I will first show you a small city platform built by the SuperG 3D Earth server and interact with the platform to show you its potential applications. The objective of the platform is to provide information for the citizens and decision makers so the decision making process can be more informed. This information includes the real time city information like traffic data. You can also show different layers with different time to show the historical view of the city. And the most important of all, the disaster data can also be displayed onto this platform for disaster control and management. Sometimes a natural disaster may hit the city and threaten the citizens, such as typhoon or hurricanes. Fortunately, we already have some forecast technologies that help us to reduce the damages. These forecast information are often published as OGC resources by the government, which can be accessed by a web link. You can add the link to the 3D map and overlay the forecast information on the fly. I will show you how to do this in this demo video. So you can definitely use our platform to show the GIS data from city level to country level scale and get an overall understanding of the city. Now, let me show you the demo site. I am now using Firefox to run our SuperG3 Earth Server plugin. We provide plugin and a standalone desktop application for our client side applications. If you don't want to install the plugin, you can also use browsers that support HTML file like Chrome and Firefox to run the JavaScript version of the web application. In this application, you can use your mouse or the navigator here to navigate in the 3D space. You can tilt your camera, run in on, run out, and so on. Or you can use our API to customize your own function, like you can use it to set a fly animation or a tour. Now, let's fly to Taipei, Taiwan. You can definitely set the speed of the animation or the destination you want in the API. Now, here is, is the table of content where you can hide and show layers. So if you have multiple satellite images or aerial images, uh, you can show them sequentially so that you can see how the city change, changes through town. Or if you want to show some other information like how the city structures, you can show the land use data and then you can show them in 3D view. So this is how it looks like in 3D. And in the 3D view, you can also show some realistic models to represent a virtual city. We support models in KNL, Kenly, and CityGNL file formats. Sometimes it is not easy to get so many models. And there's a quick way to build 3D models um, if you have the outline of the building in 2D. You can use our software to control those buildings and make it in 3D just like this. You can see that this original 2D GIS data have been extruded into 3D models. In addition to those basic city information like buildings or land use information, it is also useful for citizens to get real-time traffic information. And this information are usually published as KNL, WNS, or WNTS, and so on. You can use our tool to add the KNL file and get the real-time traffic data. So if I'm a user, I'd be able to navigate from my home to my destination to find the best route in the trade space. And as I mentioned earlier, now we have the technologies to monitor the weather, the rainfall, and even typhoons and disaster data. This information are closely related to the safety of the city and are often published by the governments. So we can connect those information to our 3D platform. By doing so, we'll be able to integrate the 2D existing resources to this 3D platform. 
Let me show you how to do this again. You choose the Add KNL File tool and select the file you want to add, for example, the Renfo KNL file, and you see the data is connected to the 3D platform. And uh, you see the data is just published um, at the 6 p.m. In the future, we will add the GX extensions developed by us to switches 3D or server, like the network analysis or 3D analysis, spatial analysis, and so on. Then we'll be able to do some geographic analysis on this platform on the fly. So in addition to these traditional GX extensions, we will also improve our visualizations in the future. For example, we'll use some animations to show the traffic data so you can literally see how fast or how slow the traffic is and what is its direction. And if you have some point cloud data like LIS, you can also open them in our standalone application in the future. And this is all for this demo video. Thank you.